Okay, YouTube, and uh, we have the, the tranny removed from the truck. I don't have it out from under the truck because I'm going to replace the front pump while it's under here. The first thing you need to do is take the torque converter out, and uh, you should be able to just spread that back and forth and pull it out. I may need to get a pry bar because it's kind of awkward to do under this truck when you're... Okay. Okay, YouTube, after fighting and fighting with it under the truck, I decided to bring it out here. I still can't get the torque converter out, but what's going on is, see, it's pretty solid that way. You rotate it a little bit, and it moves like that. Turn it, and it'll get solid. Not as bad. And it'll just, it gets worse and then tighter. But it will not come off of here. It's like it's seized on there. So that's what I'm trying to mess with anyways. I'll let you guys know how I get this thing off. See, turn it. And it's... it's almost like it's in there. Uh, if you watch that thing, it's like it's not straight. Anyways, I'm going to try getting this torque converter out. Okay, YouTube. And uh, after fighting with this, uh, getting this torque converter out, I finally got it out. I had to get two pry bars. This one and this one. And I took the, the torque converter at the top and the bottom and pried on it. It took about, I don't know. Five minutes trying to wedge those pry bars in there, and I finally got it. So now, on to removing the uh, front pump. So what you're going to do first is you're going to start out by taking all these bolts out around here, and uh, and I'll show you what to do. I'll show you the process. Okay, now all these bolts, just uh, take them out and uh, keep them, you know, in a place where you ain't going to lose them. Uh, they're all the same length, just so it doesn't matter, uh, you know, what order they go in or anything like that. Now, this sh center shaft here, it pulls out. Uh, make sure you know which way goes in and which way goes out. Um, this longer flat piece here goes on the inside. Uh, I'm going to clean this up before I put it back in there, so uh, me touching it with these greasy gloves isn't a big deal right now. Now there are two of these holes that have threads in there. Um, you just find some bolts that thread in there, and that's what you're going to use to wiggle and pry this thing out. Uh, the bolts I use were off the starter. They're the perfect thread for that, so that works. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to get a, a little pry bar. Let me go over here and get that. So you can see the bolts, um, like I said, starter bolts. There's only two that have the threads in them and you're just going to get on the, the side of them and pry a little bit. Just go top to bottom. And as you can see it's sort of coming loose. It doesn't take too much honestly.
This is a job. Look how much I'm sweating. Okay, and just like that, it is it is out. So there's what your front pump looks like. I need to take this into the uh, shop, and they're going to rebuild it for me. So anyways, I'll show you guys how to install it once I get that done. But right now I'm going to cover this up and make sure no contaminants or anything get in there. And we'll go from there. Okay YouTube, and we have our new front pump, uh, freshly rebuilt from the tranny shop. I have a brand new torque converter, and I'm fresh from the tranny shop. The guy at the tranny shop actually took this pump, well the old one, and tore it apart right there in front of me. And showed me, you know, if it was messed up or not, and it was, it was pretty bad. Um, what had actually caused the pump to go out was... Whoever put in the old torque converter, there, this thing's like keyed here on the end. There's flat spots there and there. Whoever put in the old torque converter, um, they pretty much didn't put it in those keys. And uh, it was in there a little wampus. And that's actually what caused the flex plate to break in the first place. And then the pump went out shortly after that. So anyways, we've got the pump there. And I've got the tranny here all opened up ready to put the pump in. Uh, one thing I learned taking the pump out is you need to be careful. You need to remove the uh, the, the filter. Um, I didn't do that and that's why that pump was so hard to get out in the first part of this video. And uh, so anyways just make sure you guys take the filter out before you try removing the pump and you won't have that trouble. But I did buy a new filter again so second filter I bought the other one's still brand new in there but uh, I guess things you learn as you're doing a tranny so anyways I'll show you how to put the front pump in okay now this pump only could go in one way the pickup tube is here at the very bottom there's the very bottom of the tranny sideways so it, you know it's not going to look like you put it in there straight man but the bolts are sequenced and staggered so you could only put it in one way where all the bolts will work um, so anyways I'm going to show you all how that is uh, done um, I still screw that. all right so now what you're going to do is just make sure everything looks straight sort of get it to where you're not going to have to be twisting around too awfully much just sticker about right Right there, and there's two little tabs right there. Um, that will give you an approximate area of where the bolt holes are. And then you just sort of wiggle it a little bit and push it in. It shouldn't go in too hard. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take some of the bolts and make sure they line up. And they don't, so you're going to this back out just a hair and just twist it until you feel one of these bolt holes go in where you can tell that's where it is okay and then grab another one and sort of get it down here at the bottom Okay, so we've got, I'm going to have this thing here, see so both of those are on there. Okay, now what you're going to do is finish pushing the pump in and just lightly tap around in a circle because that new gasket, or the new o-ring rather, And as you can tell, it's pushed all the way back, 
and that's where it should be and all these should just screw in easily if you have any like resistance trying to put that in and before you put it in take your shaft and make sure it's going to slide in because if it doesn't then you have something that's not lined up right slides in perfect just like it should and now, uh, now we're going to put all these in and um, torque them down so I believe that concludes the end of this video how to install a front pump Okay, and we have it all bolted in and torqued down, so now all that's left to do is put the torque converter on and put the tranny back up in the truck. Thanks for watching.